All right, you guys, in this video, what I wanted to do is um, show you my uh, the easiest way of uh, getting magnet field, uh, I guess, updated, installed, uh, if you already have it pre-installed. So like I do, uh, you see I have magnet field over here. I'm in a job. I don't need to connect to any equipment. I do have to make sure that my device that I'm about to do this on is connected to the Internet. So uh, a Wi-Fi or a cellular connection uh, is necessary. If you have an update, uh, you can always check uh, your About tab over here. It'll tell you what your version is. It says 7.2. If uh, you are connected to the Internet, uh, this icon over here might be flashing uh, and showing you that there's an uh, updated version. In my case, it's not flashing, but you can always go ahead and actually hit the Software Updates button and check it. And this is where I just checked it and I have my maintenance is expired. So don't do it if your maintenance is expired. I'm just doing it for the purpose of the video. So anytime maintenance is expired, you need to uh, investigate if you have uh, the ability to actually do the install. Mine, uh, because I'm doing it in the demo version, uh, is expired. But I'm going from uh, version 7.2 to version 7.3.1, which is current as of, I guess, August 18th, 2022. I'll hit install. And it always asks you, hey, uh, well, if your license is expired, it's not going to let you install unless you're really sure. I am uh, ready to go with this. So I'll say, yes, I want to actually proceed. It'll ask you, do you want to close magnet field? We definitely do. So that's correct. Uh, creating a full backup is nice in case you anticipate uh, issues. I, for the purpose of the video, I will not. But otherwise, if you say yes, it'll create a backup of your jobs and your settings and everything in case your uh, installation goes uh, badly. But I will say no. And what it'll do is it'll open up the magnet field installer over here. And if you're connected to the internet, you see It'll tell you that um, that's a requirement that was met already. I want it to be in English. I will save it to wherever my documents go. So in this case, it's my documents folder. I'll hit OK and let it download. This will, you know, take a couple of minutes, seconds, depending on your speed or on the speed of your Internet. So let's just see how quickly this goes. All right, now that everything's downloaded, just hit start. And this is where uh, I'm installing it on the computer that I'm actually downloading to. So it is a PC, so I'll hit the install to this PC button. Uh, once again, it'll check for internet connection, English, next. Uh, I already have a magnet installed, so I'm not uninstalling it. I'm just changing it from 7.2 to 7.3.1, I guess is the... Uh, logic here so we'll hit next accept agreement and this is where I want to point you to this if you're in the United States and you're in a certain region go ahead and download and you're using GPS go ahead and download uh, the correct uh, geoids for you so uh, it should be pre-selected for you already I am in the North American region in the USA I typically use the 2018 geoid and the 2012 B geoids, uh, but this is again your choice. You don't have to get the 2012, for example. I will just because I want to have some backwards compatibility with um, uh, clients. But uh, I, if I'm never going to be using any of the others, I don't necessarily just install the whole geoid. I really only get what I need. So, Conterminous United States. And again, I don't anticipate working and doing uh, projects for anyone in the U.S. Virgin Islands or Puerto Rico in 2018. So I'm just selecting these. So when you hit next or install, it will grab those files for you. Do you really want to do this? We'll say yes. Um, the software will be installed from the downloaded file, but it'll also download the necessary geoids for you. So those geoids will become part of your installation, meaning uh, when you uh, restart the actual program, it's not just going to be blank and you'll have to go hunting for the geoids for your elevations to be correct, but they will be already pre-installed for you. So this is nice that it's built into uh, the magnet installer. All right, there we go. So this is now finished. 
uh, we launch magnet field again mine is not activated so yours would say do you want to activate or say yes uh, I actually am going to say no here because I know I just am going to keep my demo version mm -hmm. but that means I can now confirm that when I go home and I hit the drop down uh, I go into about the now I have version 7.3.1 so this is uh, how you actually get the um, program to be updated without you having to go to a website, downloading a file, and then installing it with a USB drive. So hopefully this was a useful video. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, leave them below.